Hi, this video is for you if you've just come across tapping, you're new to tapping, but you've watched my how to tap videos and you're feeling a little silly about using it for yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Okay, so what you're experiencing is totally natural, totally normal. When I first came across tapping EFT, I wasn't really introduced to it formally because I was having a bit of a panic. I was uh, training to be a coach, an NLP practitioner, a clinical hypnotherapist, and my supervisor at the time, who I went on to training in EFT with, said, just tap here. And because I was feeling a little bit panicky, I thought anything must feel better than this. I trusted her and I soon found myself tapping. And I was thinking, God, Sarah, what are you doing now? Because I have tried a few different things in my time. But very quickly, the feelings of um, kind of panic anxiety started to calm down and I started to feel better. So that really got my attention. So if you're feeling that way, no worries. That's exactly how I felt. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to use some tapping to get over the fact that we feel silly about tapping. So firstly, um, just a couple of things I need to go through. Um, emotions can come up when we tap. So if this happens, keep your feet flat on the floor, tap on your collarbone points and just breathe through it until the feelings subside. Secondly, by tapping along, you agree to take full responsibility for your own physical and mental health well-being. So before we start tapping, just ensure that you're not going to be disturbed um, for the next few minutes, just so you don't have that worry also going on in the background. So we're going to do some tapping on, feeling silly. So just tapping with me and repeating, even though I feel a little silly, I can't believe I'm tapping on myself. It feels a little odd. I love and accept myself anywhere. Even though I feel a little self-conscious. I can't believe I'm watching this video and tapping along with Sarah. I love and accept myself anywhere. Even though I feel a little silly, I'm just outside my comfort zone. I love and accept myself anywhere. Feeling a little silly. Can't believe I'm tapping on myself. It feels a little odd. I'm feeling a little self-conscious. I might even be a little cringeworthy. But I'm outside my comfort zone. And it's um, natural to feel uncomfortable. Outside your comfort zone. And even though I don't fully get it yet, I'm open to giving it a go after hearing the benefits it can have. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just tapping on your collarbone on any emotions, feelings that might have come up. So karate chop points, even though I'm just stepping out my comfort zone. And it's all part of going after my goals. And I might feel a little silly. But I'm open to using it enough to see how it can be helpful in making me feel more comfortable. And I love and accept myself anywhere. Even though 
I was feeling a little silly. I don't fully get it yet. But open to trying it enough to be able to receive some of the benefits. And I love and accept myself anyway. Feeling a little silly. Feeling a little calmer. Feeling a little bit more familiar with it. It's still a bit odd. But I know it can have a calming effect. on the fight and flight response, on the body's nervous system, and know it can be helpful to feel calmer. I know it can be helpful to release my blocks. And I'm willing to give it a go. And I am giving it a go. Because I'm a girl with a goal. And I'm willing to step out my comfort zone. And sometimes feel a little uncomfortable. To make that goal happen. Feeling a little calmer. Feeling a little less self-conscious. Feeling a little more familiar with it. Feeling calmer. Feeling okay. Giving it a go. Feeling a little calmer. Feeling okay. And I've just completed my first experience with tapping. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Just tapping on your collarbone point and any feelings or emotions that have come up your feet flat on the floor and just allowing things to subside, allowing things to calm and just tap for as long as you feel you need to. And like with anything, things that are new at first, you just need to use a few times to get familiar feel more comfortable with it, to feel more comfortable in using it. So you can really start to reap the benefits of tapping, of EFT, to start release and unleash that inner rich girl of yours. So breathing in, breathing out, happy tapping. Go and check out some of my, on my other videos and keep tapping through because the feelings will subside. And I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Thank you.